Welcome to Real Recap, where we give you a quick rundown of your favorite movies and TV shows. Today we're diving into The Last Kingdom, Seven Kings Must Die, the latest entry in the epic historical drama series. The movie starts with Anlaf, a Viking king, arriving in Northumbria with his army after hearing about King Edward's illness. Edward dies, leaving behind three sons, and Lady Edgifu and the youngest son Edmund flee to Bebenburg, where Uhtred resides. Ingrith prophesizes that seven kings must die before England will be united. Uhtred reaches Igelisburg, where Elfweird prepares to defend against Ethelstan's impending attack. Ethelstan and his advisor Ingelmunder soon arrive, thwart a trap set by Elfweird, and kills him and his men. No! Ethelstan is crowned king of the Saxons. Uhtred arrives in Wafferwick and witnesses the destruction of pagan monuments. He discovers Ethelstan's relationship with Ingelmunder and believes he's being deceived. Ingelmunder plans to have Uhtred killed, but is warned by Aldhelm and flees back to Bevenberg. Ingelmunder later convinces a servant to lure Uhtred into a trap, where he is captured by Ethelstan's men. On the Isle of Men, Anlaf hosts a gathering of kings, warning them of Ethelstan's impending conquest. They request that Uhtred assassinate Ethelstan to avoid war. Uhtred travels to Wintansiast and unsuccessfully convinces Ethelstan to stop his conquest. Uhtred and his allies head to face Anlaf at the Battle of Brunenburg. They are heavily outnumbered and make a tactical withdrawal, allowing Saxon cavalry to flank from behind. In the chaos, Domnal and the heirs of the other kings are killed. After witnessing Ingomunder attack Ethelstan, Uhtred is gravely wounded while attempting to aid him. In the aftermath of the battle, the other kings quickly abandon Anlaf, and a captive Ingelmunder is executed. Uhtred agrees to swear Northumbria to Ethelstan, in exchange for him agreeing to make Edmund his sole heir, making Ethelstan the first king of a united England. Uhtred experiences a vision of Valhalla, where he sees several of his deceased allies waiting for him. And there you have it, the epic conclusion to The Last Kingdom. Seven kings must die. If you haven't seen it yet, what are you waiting for? Don't forget to like and subscribe to Real Recap for more movie and TV show recaps.